my friend Bruce Lee is here because it's not easy, it's not easy to train you. One of the things that goes on in the marketplace is people of color have very, 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 very thick skin. And people say, oh, no, no, Mike, I'm willing to listen. I'm open-minded. Except when I ask your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your whatever, and they say, stubborn, stubborn, <laughs> right? So, so it's not easy. It's not easy to train a room full of entrepreneurs because you guys think you're hot, <laughs> right? So what I want to do is, I, I, you know, when we look at the marketplace today and everyone talks about how crazy the economy is and this and that and this and that, people sort of know and you hear all the bad news and everything like that and you know what's going on and this and that and this and that, but you know what, I thought to myself, <coughs> let me just share with you one scenario, okay? And I, I, I live in three cities. I live in Las Vegas, I live in San Francisco, I live in LA. But I want to share with you what's going on in Las Vegas. Would that be okay with you? Okay, so go to the site. There's a site called uh, 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 Vegas Today and Tomorrow, okay? And I want you to go to uh, Maps, right there, push Maps. Okay, and, and, and scoot this all the way up, scoot it up so that people can see. Yeah, okay, so if you can, if you can sort of see right here, all right, this, this website here basically details every single commercial property on the strip all right this is just one city now all right so if you see this is the strip right here go all the way down go all the way down so you can see all of this this is the main strip this is where you guys party right right <laughs> everything like that and so three years ago when I made a decision to go and live in Las Vegas I did so because I looked at this map and I said you know what I see great opportunity for me and for the last two years uh, for my company, BCF Capital, which provides capital to minority-owned companies, Vegas has been the number one market in the United States. Okay? But let me share with you. Go back up. Go back up here. Okay, let's start from... No, no. Go back down a little bit. Go back down. Okay. Start from right here. Okay. Uh, let me go through a few properties. And all, all of these announcements, all of these things, all of these things that I'm telling you, all occur within the last three to six months. Okay? Uh, this right here was supposed to be an MGM uh, Kirshner project. The developer uh, put up $250, $250 million. Son got killed in a, a plane crash. Uh, project got delayed. Next, move, move down. Echelon was supposed to be a $5 billion project. Uh, if you've seen it, it's kind of built. They started it, stopped. It was supposed to be six uh, collections of, of uh, hotels. Financing dried up. <coughs> then you go over here, Fountain Blue. That's been in the newspaper a lot lately. Two billion dollars spent, went into bankruptcy. Companies trying to buy it for three hundred million dollars right now. Okay, let's continue. Go down, Plaza, the Plaza Hotel. Plaza Hotel was bought by a Jewish uh, developer. He owns and is trying to break the monopoly for the diamond industry. One of the wealthiest men owns the Plaza Hotel paid $36 million an acre for this land right here, can't build the project. Done. Closed. Shop. Let's continue. Uh, Wynn. Wynn is doing very well. Wynn just went public. They raised several hundred million dollars in China. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Venetian. Venetian, stock market price went down about 98%, has just come up a little bit and had to stop a lot of projects in Singapore and in uh, uh, Macau, okay? But has risen. Now, stock was trading at a dollar, now it's trading at about nine. Let's continue. Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace had an extension, uh, built, half built, stopped. Why? Because the public said, we're not gonna need any more hotel rooms uh, for, for the foreseeable future. Let's continue, Bellagio's doing okay. Next, city center. $9 billion project, it's been in the newspaper a lot lately, half owned by Dubai World, half owned by MGM. Stock was trading at $85 a share, went down to two, now it's at seven. For the last six months, every Friday, if MGM didn't wire transfer $150 million into the bank, the project was gonna go into bankruptcy. Project is scheduled to open up in December, uh, Mandarin Oriental opens up uh, December 4th. City Center opens up December 16th. 
Okay? 